Hey everybody, welcome to another in the mini-series, as I like to call, Off The Rails, where we take a closer look at the rails, the firing rails, that are available for the FireTech firing system. In the previous video, we looked at the 16-channel FQ16C, so if you want to find out more about this rail, go check out that video. You'll find a link to that in the corner of the screen now. But in this video, I want to take a closer look at this little thing. This is a four-channel rail from FireTech. It's the FQ-4C. So the standard rail has 16 channels. This has four, but you can assign which four of these it replicates. So there's a little jumper here, a little green jumper in this case. If I have it there, this becomes channel one, two, three, and four. If I move this along to there, this then fires on five, six, seven, eight. I move it along, 9, 10, 11, 12, and there, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's what these numbers here, 1 plus x, this is x, 1 plus x, 2 plus x, 3 plus x, and 4 plus x. So if it's on 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like the 16 channel rail, it has an RJ45 at both ends, so you can daisy chain these together. You can daisy chain them in with the 16 channel rail as well. And let's connect it up and have a look when we connect it to the module. So there is a little continuity flashing light. Let's turn this uh, light off above my camera here. Maybe you can see that a little bit better, the red lights flashing along there. And like the 16 channel rail, it's got these levers for you to put your igniters in and then clamp them down. So let's give this a little go. Let's get an igniter out. And let's change this. Let's put this over to there. So this is now going to fire on five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm gonna put my E-match igniter in to the last channel on here, which is channel eight. So we put the wires in like that and clamp it down. That's nicely attached. And you can see on my module here that we've now got continuity on channel eight. If I change this jumper along to one, you'll see we've then got continuity on channel four. So really versatile. I like the fact this is nice and small and compact. If you've got firing sides that only require four channels as opposed to 16 and they're quite small and you don't want to put a great big 16 channel rail on, I like the fact that you can just run a Cat5 cable out there, put this little uh, four channel rail on and be able to fire four channels from that. The only downside I would say is this little way of selecting which four channels it responds to. These are really easy to get lost. In fact, one of these rails, when it arrived, actually arrived without this. Uh, the good thing is you can buy these. These are readily available on Amazon. I just bought a bag of 60 multicolored ones there for about five pounds. And make sure you get the ones with these little extended uh, tabs on the top so they make it easier to uh, lift on and off. I did question why these were these little jumpers as opposed to say dip switches. And the answer is basically because of the amount of voltage and current that's going through this system, it's too much for dip switch to handle. And that's why we have these jumpers. So they're not ideal because they can fall off, but if you get some spares, which are readily available and have them to hand, you should be okay. So let's give this a go. Let's um, get this out of the way like this. And this is currently on channel four now. So we'll put the system into armed and I will cover the controller and the modules in more detail in another video. So we're now into armed mode. I'm going to manually fire this. I'm going to manual fire. I can see that I've got um, continuity on the fourth channel. So I'm going to go one, two, three. There we go. And just to prove that we can do these in parallel with another rail, let's take the output from this one and send it into our 16 channel rail, like so. 
So you might be led to think that because we've set this to channels one, two, and three, four, only channels one, two, three, and four will work on here. No, everything is in parallel. Everything passes through here. So I can, let's change this igniter. Let's put one into here again. So we're gonna stick our E-match into, I should probably actually, let's for safety, let's come out of firing mode, army mode. So there we are. I've disarmed the system whilst I'm connecting live e-matches to it. So we'll put one in there. Let's twist that up out of the way there. And let's put another one in to the other rail on another number. Let's put this on, oh, I don't know, let's pick a number. Let's pick the number 11. <laughs> for no real reason. <laughs> it's just a random number. So we'll put this one into 11 on here. Like that. So we have one on the four channel rail on channel four, and we have one on the 16 channel rail um, on 11, and they are daisy chained together. I can see on my module, I've got continuity on both of those. So let's put this into armed mode. Again, we go and we go into manual fire and I'm going to fire the fourth one on here in one, in, <laughs> in three, two, one, and then 11, three, two, one. Nice. So this is the four channel FQ4C rail from Firetech. I really like these. They're really neat. They're really compact. Let's have a look at the length of them. They are only uh, 110 mil long, so four and a quarter or so inches. So I do like these. Um, there aren't any fire protective uh, covers for these four channel rails at present. You could, I guess, stick some Velcro on here and use one of these 16 channel rails to give you a bit of protection on that. I guess that would work, but it would be kind of nice to see a smaller one of these fire ones available for these four channels. But I say this is a nice little uh, unit. I'm probably going to get some more of these because I really like these. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to check out some more of my fire tech videos online.